I know this one. Do you have any cheese? What's up YouTube, Sir Hunts Reviews, and this video is going to be about how I think Dario Noharis is the leader of the fucking harpy. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you click like and subscribe if you already haven't done so. Let's get right into it. Alright, so peep game. We know by the books that Danny, Daenerys, Stormborn, Targaryen, Khaleesi, Mother of Dragons, my future wife, is going to be betrayed three times. Once for money, once for blood, and once for love. She's already been betrayed two of those three times. Once by Miri Mazdur, and that was for blood. Obviously, she got tricked into sacrificing her unborn child to save Cal Drogo way back in season one, back in book one, Game of Thrones. Um, then she got betrayed for money by Jorah uh, Mormont. Obviously, he was telling secrets to Master Varys on Daenerys Targaryen for money, for silver. Basically, the money relating to, like, his freedom. Like, that was, he could have gotten his pardon if he came up with the money. And in order for him to feed them that information, they were like, yo, you're welcome back to Westeros. We paid your pardon for you, basically. So that was the money. And then last but not least, we have, least, last but not least, last but not least, we have love. Danny. Love. Who is Danny in love with at this point? Dario fucking Naharis! There you go, right there. Well, let me correct myself. Danny's not necessarily in love with his Darzo Larak, but he could be one of. Oh, wait, no, no, he's fucking dead. No, oh, so it looks like it just leaves Dario Naharis. Alright, so let's get off with supporting factor number one if you go to the pits of Daznak episode 9 of season 5 of game of thrones um the entire time that they are in the pits of Daznak watching the fighting pretty much the whole time dario naharis is whispering in everybody's ear almost as if he's like trying to distract them from something because like if your job is to be a bodyguard why the fuck are you not watching everything you know what i'm saying it just seemed a little bit weird i understand that he was like obviously jealous and wanted to talk about how he could do this and he could do that blah 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 but it just seemed a little bit too convenient like your job is to be a bodyguard how the fuck do you let it slip that much to where somebody can come up you know what i'm saying right behind danny like come on bro sound seems like you were trying to keep everybody focused on the pits but at the same time distracting them from their surroundings you get what i'm saying so they're trying to focus on the fighting but they're also being told this in their ear which is gonna you know you get what i'm saying it's almost like when somebody talks to you in your ear or in a TV show and you're trying to watch it. Like, why the fuck would you do that? Why the fuck would he do that? Especially him being the bodyguard type. Like, you shouldn't distract the people you're trying to guard. You should be trying to fucking guard them. Not to mention, I've said this in one of my other videos, um, he also was able to find the first killer of the Sons of Harpy, like, fucking instantly. Now, if you grew up watching old cartoons like I did, Scooby-Doo, if you go by that logic... He's the killer. How the fuck do you know where? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. You're oh, you just you just know because you're because your people can just blend in and shit, and you just like know that there's this dude hiding in the wall. He's not making basically no noise. Fuck out of here, Scooby Doo logic, Dario Hard, Dario. You are the harpy, you fucking bitch. All right, so then you have this major blinding factor about this shit. Last season, and sorry, not last season. Now at this point, two seasons ago, in season four, Danny sent. Um, his Dar Zolarok and Dario Naharis off for a few months. Now it is very well popped. We don't know where the fuck they went. They didn't really address that on the show. We just know that Danny sent his ass to basically go, like, kind of bring people together. You know what I'm saying? She was like, "All right, Dario, go check this motherfucker out." They were gone for a few months. Um, there definitely could have been some buying of allegiances. We all know Dario how he got introduced into the show. The motherfucker cut off his homeboys heads and was like yo here you go so what if while that time he was with his dar's older rock his dar's like filling his head with like yo i'm gonna give you a shit ton of money help me bring daenerys down from the inside and and everybody's probably thinking like right now what would his dar zolorax um motivation be behind wanting to bring down danny so bad well danny hung his father killed his dad out in the streets along with 160 so other slavers and i don't know if you remember he wanted to take them all down and all that shit and like obviously she gave him a hard time about it there's your motivation right there she killed his father oh you're probably thinking where would his dog get enough money to do that well he's the the leader of like the most powerful family in fucking marine niggas got money he's like the lannister of marine no i'm just kidding 
Not to mention, you have Dario making a blatant, obvious observation to Danny's face, but like basically saying a dragon, uh, a queen with no dragons is no drag is is no dragon queen. Basically, like saying like, you ain't shit without your dragons, bitch. Okay, basically he said a dragon queen who can't control her dragons is no queen. I just find it too hard to believe. This is relating back to the shit I was talking about earlier. I just find it too hard to believe that he would just find somebody in the wall like that. Like, nah, that sounds like he knew he was there, and he was like. I'm gonna sacrifice this dude right here to show like okay it's not me because I knew where he was I'm gonna sacrifice this dude then also you have Barristan sell me question him like hey man um did you talk to the dude like basically did you question the sons of the harpy and Dario like shook him off like yeah I questioned him nobody else needs to talk to him why wouldn't he want anybody else talking to that dude to the harpy did he think that somebody was gonna shake some shit out of him like maybe I don't know find out that Dario's the fucking leader Alright, so in conclusion, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's safe to say Dario is the fucking leader of the Harpy. Just think about it. Um, the actor that plays him actually does have, like, a blooming movie career, so it would make sense for his character to go out in a big fucking shock scene like that. So basically, we have this. Danny is being played by Dario, and that is gonna be that third um, stab in the back she was promised, the third betrayal for love. And that will set her, like, in pre-crazy, pre-Mad Queen mode and just burn the entire city. Finally realizing that Marine is nothing but a shithole, taking her ass to Westeros. Like, fuck Marine. I got betrayed by such and such. I almost lost everybody I know. I'm gonna move it on to Westeros. Maybe that's what his character ultimately will end up doing. He, he's gonna die, for sure. He'll either die by Jorah or he'll die by Dragonfire. You guys take your pick. Sorry for that spit. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Sir Hunt's Reviews. Um, if you haven't already done so, make sure you click like, subscribe. Check out one of these videos I've suggested in this video. And I'm going to shoot for two, maybe three likes this video. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Sir Hunt's Reviews. More relief than a thousand lying whores. You raped her. You killed her. You murdered her family. What does one say to the many first god of the hell? I know this one. Do you have any cheese?